Hello everyone, and welcome back to another how-to video on Leo421. And today, we are going to be installing Debian 10 codenamed Buster in a live uh, install, which allows you to test the distributions before you actually install it onto the hard drive of your computer. I am a huge, huge Debian fan, especially Debian 10 uh, codenamed Buster uh, in the release here. So today, I'm going to do a little um, walkthrough on how to do it. And it's very simple. You've got your files. And it's very nice the way it works. So we're going to start off by... Uh, I've already created my bootable USB drive. It's just a small little USB stick that you can use to put storage on uh, by using either Rufus or Belena Etcher or any of those are great for installing the disks. But first, I'm going to show you what all this is and how I got to it. So I'm going to go by starting the latest Debian 10 release, Debian 10 Buster. Uh, no, I'll just type in Debian 10.12 Live, and you'll see what non-free is in a minute. So I'm going to go here. And you'll see that we have the latest release. And the reason I go by non-free is because Wi-Fi never works in Debian unless you use the non-free software. Well, what does that mean? This is still, this is not non-free that you have to buy it. You can just download it. It just means it requires those drivers. So now I've already created the bootable USB stick using the default GNOME desktop. So... I will be able to use that generally now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and I'm going to insert my USB drive into my computer. And there we go. So it should come up here. Yep, there it is. So now I'm going to reboot my system. And I find that most computers, in this case my Dell Latitude 3390, uh, is by clicking F12, which gives me the boot menu, which you can't see right here. I don't know why that is. Uh, for some reason, it just doesn't show it. So I'm going to click on the UEFI uh, Memorex USB flash drive, which is correctly mine. Uh, you can use your arrow keys to select. I'm going to click on that. And we get the annoying beep. And you're going to simply want to press the very first option, which is by clicking enter here. And now I'm not sure why you can't see it on here. I could try to uh, deactivate. And yeah, it's not going to work uh, right now. So I'm just going to click enter. So now you could probably see my desktop up oh, there we go see now it's loading up here and it has gonna and it is about to bring us into the uh live media method which is basically what i had on before uh that was just already uh installed on the computer so i'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how all this works. And it should be popping up in just a moment here. There we go. Now you probably have a black screen, that's what I have. And now I have a cursor. See, it should be popping up in just a second. And there we go. So we have the uh, Debian desktop. I'm actually going to go to the display uh, settings real quick so you can see everything. Uh, there we go. Now you can see everything that's on here. So now what we do want to do is click the activities menu and simply click on this icon right here, Install Debian. And this is going to bring up a brand new installer that was released in this 
Buster release, and the, it's called the Calamari's Installer, which is much, much more simpler than a regular <clears throat> than a regular installer uh, like previous used in six, seven, eight, and nine. This one is great. You can still use the other method, which I'll have. Uh, I have on using, I believe, Debian 9 or something. I've got something like that. I don't know if I uploaded it, but the simply just select your language, which I'm just going to keep at American English, if that's what I can see. Yep, right there. So we'll click Next. And here it shows where we want to locate. Uh, I'm going to go by Los Angeles. And I'm not going to connect to Wi-Fi, even though, see here, this is where you can connect to Wi-Fi on here. So next, what we want to do is click on Los Angeles, which is close enough to me. <clears throat> and here, we can see uh, keyboard layouts, which I believe that this is correct by default. And you can type here to test your keyboard. And that works, so that's good. And I'll click out of that and click Next. Okay, so here is the partitioning menu. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace a partition with Debian 10. That way it gives you a little more space. And I'm just going to click here, which is where I can do it. You can either install alongside to shrink a partition to make room for Debian 10. Or you could erase the disk completely and restart your entire system. Or you could always just do it manually. <clears throat> and I'm going to click the yellow partition, which is the biggest, and click Next. Now here is where you will have to uh, select a um, your name, a username, and you can name your computer. Like, I could say, like, laptop and a bunch of numbers. And I could do the same thing with that. And, of course, choose a password to keep your account safe. Or you could just log in automatically without asking for the password, which I don't recommend for uh, users that like to be secure. <clears throat> but, of course, you can always turn that option on if you like. So I'm going to pause here, and I'm going to do that information, and I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, so I finished doing that, and what I did was I just clicked Next, and this is the final look to see if we really do want to install Debian uh, for our, um, you know, um, basic reviews um, in showing what's going to happen once you start the install process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Install, and away we go. Welcome to Debian GNU Linux. The rest of the installation is automated and should complete in a few minutes. Now, I find if uh, once you get to the, I find 19% or 26%, uh, I've had that where it gets stuck for at least five minutes or more. Um, don't worry if you don't see your bar moving. Uh, it's because it just takes a while uh, but the, re the rest of the installation is really, it doesn't take long, just besides when it, once it passes 19 or 26 percent, uh, that's usually when it's pretty much completely done. So I'll pause here, and then it usually just goes all the way to 100 in like a minute. So that's it for now. I'm going to pause, and I'll be right back once it has gotten to 100 it's about five minutes later, and I noticed that we just got to 20. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I told you that it can take a bit of time, but I bet this will be going in just a few minutes. Okay, so the installation is complete. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Done, Restart Now, and once your system has shut off completely and rebooted, Immediately, once the system is powered off, unplug your USB stick. So there we go. 
and now my system is once I don't see Debian anymore there we go it's off I unplug the USB stick and now I'm just gonna wait up oh, I have the uh, menu which is great so I'm gonna click on Debian GNU Linux and I should have a login screen on there so hopefully let's see there we go Okay, now you can't see this, but I do have a login screen, so I'm going to uh, basically uh, just enter my password real quick, so I'll do that. And we see the default Debian desktop here. So that means our installation was successful. So now I'm just going to make sure everything works. And it appears to work. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi right now because I'm not going to show that. But I hope this installation video was successful. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. That is going to be it.